everyone, Jackie here. I am so, so, so excited to be here. Let me check out these, uh, ooh, I don't like that. Checking out these filters real quick. How about that? How about that? No? That's full pop. No filter, and that's what I want to be. I want to be here. I want to be no filter. I want to, um, um, sorry, got something wrong here. Clear, go away. There we go. Okay. Have you ever tried to make changes and you just couldn't even get started because mentally you were stuck? You're like, I can't make those changes. That's way, way too much for me. You know, like a job. I personally loved a job, but it was an hour commute one way and an hour and a half the other way, and even worse if there was a wreck or some other issue. In my head, there was no way I was going to leave that job. It had great benefits, I was making good money, I met some amazing people, I will collaborate with people in Europe. It was just amazing. But mental health and time and money and gas, it just wasn't worth it. After, I think it was about a year and a half, I did put in my resignation and changed to a job that was way closer, like 20 minutes commute each way. You know, we have change that we want to make, and it just looks impossible. We need to give it some time. Today, I'm on my day two completion of the three-day refresh. It's a three-day clean eating um, program or plan. It's already planned out for you. You don't have to think other than pick the couple of dinners you want. It's only three days. Pick three dinners, three lunch and snacks, go grocery shopping. You know, basically it's cucumbers and celery and it depends on what kind of vegetables you like. A lot of green vegetables. And, you know, doing this, I, I've done it before, and I actually, my first year doing it, I called it food boot camp. It was so hard, so hard. I thought I would never do it again. Well, then the next year, I knew, again, spring break kind of splurred a little bit, and I had some friends that did it with me. And I loved it. We had, uh, we could talk to each other and share what we were doing, and... I loved it, but it was still hard. This year, you know, it's a little easier because I know what to expect. Today, day two, I have a couple of headaches, and I think it's because I normally eat chocolate every day. <laughs> but today I have these a little bit of headaches, and I don't know, a little dizzy. I got a little bit off my schedule. You should eat, you're eating almost, not eating, but you're doing something almost every hour. There's like every hour, every hour, every hour, and then it's like every two hours toward the afternoon. But you have to plan your schedule and then follow the plan. Do it as designed, and I'm doing it. I can't wait to see my results. Actually, I do it day one, two, and three, and more results happen day four and five. Your body will then, you know, keep burning in a different place. The burning, the fuel, you know, look for food. This is how to change your body from fat storing to fat burning. Plus, I'm greatly learning portion controls, and I'm greatly learning that food is fuel. Today, I caught myself so many times wanting to, you know, lick a spoon because I was serving my kids their food or, or to take a bite off their plate. It is so hard to get out of old habits, and that's what they were. They're old habits. They're not, you know, anything other than that. So I encourage healthy habits. Living. It's what I do. I've done it since 2012 publicly, but even more publicly in the last couple of years, because I'm just getting a little more um, excited about how the people I help get the results and how they are changing their life through health, healthy habits changes, through nutrition, fitness, and self-care. It is so important. So I, I just want you to know I'm here for any questions you may have about eating or um you know, a lot of people ask me about different diets. Um, really, clean is the best. Eat whole foods, clean foods. 
I highly suggest that three meals a day, and they should be protein, vegetable, healthy fat, and fiber. Watch your quality, quantity, and frequency of food. Those are things that I always keep preaching. Increase your water, increase your sleep, watch your food and, and your fitness, and get support. That is so key. Get someone that will do it with you. Get someone who will encourage you, but also push you. Because sometimes we, we fall off the wagon just a little bit, a little bite here, a little nibble here. And we need someone to say, no, 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 no. You want to go back? You want to be sick? You want to take pills and medicine? Do you want to buy new clothes because you're bigger? Things like that. So I know for me, it has been a struggle in the beginning. I had no clue what clean food meant. I had no clue what superfoods were. I had no idea about a lot of these things. And now it is my lifestyle, but I've been doing it for years. I will never forget my second year. There was a girl who had posted a, a Facebook cover photo and it had all, all these photos of her, like 2004, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or something like that. I thought, wow, I'll be that someday. I'll have my series of photos. And it had, they weren't really major weight loss. It was just like some weight loss. Then she added fitness and she had some muscles. And then she showed where this photo and this photo was the same weight, but very different composition of her body. The fat and muscle definitely had changed. And uh, it's neat. And you know, it's because of other people that have gone before me that encouraged me and given me hope. And so here I sit literally on my couch, tired, ready to go to bed. But I wanted to come in here and say, I want to support you. And I want to guide you. Or base, before all that, basically I wanted to say, it's possible. I want to give you hope and encouragement that as a mother of four, extremely financially poor, um, we can do this. I, it's probably the number one, two, two, you know, resources, time and money. The top two excuses. I don't have the time and I don't have the money. You know, I will never forget October 2011 when I woke up and I was so, so sick. I was in the bathroom. I'll spare you the details. I was laying in bed and I had at that time an eight month old and a six year old, a four, you know, an eight month old, a two year old, a four year old, and a six year old. And I just knew that I needed to be a mom. I needed to be available for them. And I couldn't. I was so sick. Actually, she wasn't one yet. She was one, three. So it was actually a, if I said it right, two-year-old, four-year-old, anyway, whatever it was. I just remember being sick and in bed. And, you know, moms, we don't, we don't get to clock out. I was still nursing. And, I mean, it was insane. For two days, 48 hours, I couldn't consume anything without getting sick. And so I just want you to know that after that experience, I realized I needed to make the time and spend the money to live my days as healthy as I can. I don't need downtime. I want uptime. I want to live time. I don't want to exist. I've already... I've had situations where I've had to care for people in their end-of-life care. It is not fun or pretty. No, I cannot predict how my end-of-life will be. Uh, no, I don't know any of that. But I want to live the days that God's blessed me with as healthy as I can. I have to lessen, if not eliminate, any of that kind of care. So, with that, I encourage you. To live your days as healthy as you can with your resources and your time with your goals, your way. And I'm here to support you. So this is all about support. <laughs> I kind of uh, kind of talk on the real side. I don't like to sugarcoat anything. It is what it is. It's who I am. This is what it is. I remember being five jean sizes bigger. I remember being knees aching every time I walk up the stairs my knees would ache and I realized it was food all of it was food sure I could take a medicine for an achy knees sure I could take a medicine for my dandruff and sure I could buy 
medicine for athletes' feet, and sure, I could take medicine for coughs and colds and allergies. And I did. I spent a lot of time and money at the pharmacy buying all this stuff. Now, I just buy the right food. I no longer suffer all those things, plus more that I've uh, been so kind not to tell you, a little TMI, but I cannot tell you how real it is for you to spend time and money on health, on healthy living. I'm not going to push any products tonight. I'm not going to push anything. You need to think about it. You need to say, I'm ready. I call it, and often in all of my, a lot of my videos, a lot of the meetings, you can flip a switch. You need to flip that switch and say, I'm ready. Flip that switch, say, I'm done. I'm done. Flip it and say, I'm ready for change. I'm ready to be a little more disciplined. I'm ready for some support. I realize I can't do this on my own. Because the other set of people that I help are people who have reached goals. I have no doubt that a lot of my friends are on their journey right now, that they will reach their goal. But I will tell you, your journey's not over once you reach your goal. It begins once you've reached that maybe numeric goal of inches or size of a dress or pounds. Your real challenge is maintenance. Your real challenge is from that point forward. Everyone is looking for you to fall back. And you probably expect it too. I have for me. I knew my challenge was going to be maintenance, maintaining the lifestyle, the new changes I had made. You make a change, you're going to have a change. I have a friend who just started a new product, and she's so excited about her results. She's making great results. I'm so very happy for her. And I am applauding her and cheering her on. Because when you make a change, you get change. But it's the long-term maintenance and support. And so I pray Everyone has that. And if you don't, I'm here. My name is Jackie. I am your healthy witness. I want to witness your health as you witness mine. And we're going to keep each other accountable. Let's be a team. I do it free and unconditionally for a lot of people using various products. Yes, I have some affiliations, but I support people who are not affiliated with my, um, my people. <laughs> but I truly believe in the products I use. Um, I didn't use products to begin with. I only resorted them because I'm a mom. I'm busy and I do not have time to be going to the market like I used to. I used to go to the market and buy all the superfoods, clean them and prepare them. And then every time I made a shake, I'd have to get them all out and throw them all in. And whew, now I just soup, blend, and I'm done. <laughs> all right. Well, not sure who's came in today. And it's okay. I'm here. I'm showing up. I'm going to repost this onto YouTube after it's saved on Facebook. And again, you can go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash healthy witness. I'm also Instagram, instagram.com slash healthy witness. Twitter, twitter.com slash healthy witness. Just follow me all over 